from Furseys, which is also known as the T50 being supplied by Sidis on Amazon, is an ergonomic chair I've been waiting to review for a while. We were sent over a review unit from Furseys Philippines, which we have now returned from the release of this video, and after two and a half weeks of intense use. There are a lot of great things about this chair and one semi-major hiccup which may or may not affect you. So if you're planning on leveling up your current work from home chair, stay till the end of the video to find out what happened. Everything begins with the box first. The T50 comes very well packaged and is overall very simple to assemble. One very important piece of advice they gave me was to use the actual box as a stand in order to help aid in putting the major parts together. The only thing you really needed to do was unpack Attach the wheels of the base of the chair. Mind you, I'm not using the casters which come with the T50, but my own rollerblade casters which I got for less than 500 pesos. It prevents floor scratching, are cheap, and makes it really fun to roll around in. After attaching the wheels of the chair, you just need to screw in the backrest and arm support. Please note that I am not using a standard gas lift which comes with the chair. Firsties was kind enough to also lend me the extended version of the gas lift which costs an additional extra. I would however be more than happy to pay for this extra and I'll talk about that in a bit. It is important to note that every part of the T50 and the assembly of the parts comes 100% from Korea. This isn't to say that I have any experience with the workmanship of a chair made in Korea yet, but based on what I'm seeing and touching, it feels pretty solid. By the way, I am 152 pounds and 5 feet and 6 inches in height in case you were wondering and this chair fits me nicely overall. What's up, internet? Mahira pa rin makakuha ng PC parts ngayon, but that doesn't mean you can't get this shirt to remind you of what you still need. Jokes aside, na totoo naman, we made our very first merch to not only reflect our passion for PC building, but to help you teach your friends what you know through the Hardware Sugar PC Anatomy shirt. To order, go to our site or click on the link in the video description. Hover over products and select t-shirts. We have three designs and they come in sizes ranging from small to XL. Press Add to Cart, select your delivery option, and your payment terms. We deliver anywhere in the Philippines, but you can save on the delivery fee by paying and picking it up in our store in Makati. And if you wear it long enough, baka maswertehan ka, and you'll finally get the go signal from your significant other or your parents to finally get that AIO or RTX 3080 that you've been dying for. Let's talk about the looks of this chair. The backrest has a sexy curve made out of high quality matted plastic. None of that cheap stuff you get from budget chairs like these little irritating shards. The base of the chair is made out of a really smooth stealth black metal which shines subtly in the light thus promoting that very premium chair feel. If you are the type of person who likes to occasionally place their feet up on the base, you definitely feel the sturdiness of the overall build of the chair. I was provided a pure black version of the T50 but at my request they also lent me a red seat cover which is absolutely gorgeous. If you ever plan to buy this chair, please consider the red seat cover and while we're at it, removing the seat cover is really easy. There are velcro stamps at the bottom which you remove to undo the cushion and a single zipper which allows you to undress it. A couple of months down the line, you can wash the seat cover and in many years to come, I assume you can also just buy a new seat cover altogether. This is important because it highlights that the T50 is meant to be customized and augmented for a very long period of use. Our most popular chair video is about my 8-year-old mesh chair which you can also watch here above. And so I really like chairs which are meant to at least last 10 years or even one's own lifetime like the Herman Miller Aeron. Everything about the build of this chair highlights premium materials and the fact that it will last pretty long. I can't say definitively that it will, but after sitting on quite a number of chairs in the past, I've gotten a feel for what will last and what won't by now. Your experience may vary. The T50 offers a lot of ergonomic seat functions and I believe is good value for its price range. One of which is that you can extend the seat forward if you are on the larger side. This might be handy. This function is also built into the Herman Miller Embody, which costs a whopping 119,700 pesos as of today. Second, you can also make the T50 tilt and lock forward in case you prefer leaning in while you work.
This function is built into the Aeron as well, which now costs 96,000 pesos. It is very important to note that unlike the Embody and the Aeron, which can either just do one or the other, the T50 can do both and only costs around 21,000 pesos. Again, I want to highlight that the Embody can seat extend but does not have tilt forward abilities. The Aeron can tilt forward but does not have seat extension. The T50, which costs grossly cheaper than both of them, has both features. We now go to one of my favorite aspects of the chair, which might be unique just for me though. And that's the fact that you can opt to buy a taller gas lift in case you have a table which is on the taller side. In my opinion, arms being leveled with that of your desk achieves ultimate comfort while gaming and working. The reason for this is that you aren't placing strain on your elbows. Even my Herman Miller Aeron is a couple of inches shorter and doesn't have a similar option for me to choose. The armrests go up and down with ease at the push of a button and swing from side to side and also retract. The headdress of the T50 is made out of rubber pad which creaks a bit if you bring it down like this. However, I usually bring it down slowly and it doesn't make that sound. Now, I don't entirely approve of this headdress because it doesn't curve around my head very well unlike the CUM57 and my Ergodynamic. While you can adjust the height, I find it weird to find a position I really like similar to my problem with the M57. The mesh headdress of my Ergodynamic still fits me best. Leaning back, however, is superb. It has a tilt limiter as well so you can choose how far back to recline and also gives you the option to adjust the tension needed to recline through the use of the lever. It isn't the most intuitive solution because I always forget if I should be clockwise or counterclockwise if I want to have a stiffer lean back. Usually, I prefer a chair to be completely mesh because in the tropics, it is always hot. However, I must say that after sitting in the T50's foam band for hours on end, my bottom feels great. While I don't feel air underneath my butt anymore, it is a comfortable sitting for my ass that is and when it gets worn down you can buy a new foam pad something which I can't do with my every dynamic which is a combination of mesh and foam that's built in permanently you can also Indian sit here no problem not that I recommend that because it isn't ergonomic but sometimes I'm like what the hell now we go into my biggest problem with this chair and that's the lumbar support I really wasn't expecting to be unhappy with this. It checks my usual boxes. You can adjust the tension, you can move it up or down, and thus anyone sitting in this chair regardless of build will be able to find their lumbar region. However, the pillow itself is, in my opinion, pretty stiff. Stiff to the extent that my lower back hurt for a couple of days. This is, however, not unheard of. I had the same problem with my Aeron, and so I want to let you guys know that it is normal to give your bodies time to adjust to a new seat. I was perfectly happy with my Aeron after three days of pain. With the T50, it took longer than that, about like a week before my lower back finally began to accept it. In fact, I'm a little concerned going back to my Aeron and fear it will need time to readjust there as well. In any case, the lumbar support is firm, something you should watch out for. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that it has a coat hanger. Just in case you're buying this for the office and not just your work from home desk, I think that's a neat option, but not something I would pay for myself. In conclusion, for a chair that costs 21,053 pesos, this is not a budget chair. However, it is most definitely value for money if you are looking for a premium chair, which offers a lot of customizability and functionality. It also looks really good from afar. Sometimes I get up from my bed, tilt it to the side, and head back to my jet just so I can admire it from afar. It's that kind of chair, especially if you get the red seat. Special thanks to AIO Global for sending this review unit over. Next up is a comparison head-to-head -head review between the T50 and the Herman Miller Aeron. Let us know in the comment section below what other chairs you want us to review and we will jump in on it. Stay safe everyone. We want to give a special shout out to Christian Espinosa, Rafael James, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Liam Magnai, and John Rubin Ochia. Thank you so much for your continued support for more than a year. You guys are just freaking awesome. Thank you, and let us know if you want us to embark on a specific kind of content other than what we already have.